Hey everybody, my name is Anthony Johnson and today I want to talk to you about jazz ride cymbal variation. <laughs> Now everyone knows the classic jazz ride pattern, right? Ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, all that good stuff. We even have little phrases or words that help us remember the pattern, like um, classic one is spang, spang, a lang, or walk the dog, walk the dog. I don't like you, don't, ah, sorry. Now that's for my how to vibe at a jazz jam video. Great players like Tony Williams, Elvin Jones, and Jack DeJanet all had beautiful ride cymbal sounds because they really varied their eighth notes and really let the quarter note pulse come through to give a really nice breathy idea of time and also made it really comfortable and really musical. Varying eighth notes in our ride cymbal pattern can give a strong quarter note pulse which gives the music its swing and its forward motion. It's important to know when to stay in the pocket of that classic jazz ride pattern, ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, and all that stuff, and it's good to know when to stay there. Stylistically, even groove-wise, sometimes when you play with a different band, it might just feel better. However, when we do this, it can really take our jazz playing to another level and make it overall more comfortable. It's a very simple exercise. We're just going to move one grouping of eighth notes from beat one to beat two to beat three to beat four, like this. Two, one. Now it's also important to try this at different tempos to not only see how it feels, but to really let yourself adjust to the sound of this specific ride pattern and ride variation at different tempos since we play different tempos all the time. Now, try to play time varying your eighth notes without looking at the exercise. Just try to see how it feels and what comes up. It's important to experiment and to practice this. I have a PDF below of the exercise as well as eight bars of like a mock pattern of what this might sound like when you get going. Thank you all for watching. Comment below on what your favorite jazz ride player is. My personally is Tony Williams, but I'd love to hear more from you guys. And thank you to one of my hometown teachers, Alex Jenkins, for really showing me this, this exercise and getting me hip to it and really helping my playing change and evolve. And make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time.